10,000. What's going on ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to remove a stator from your generator. Now, before I get started, I'm going to remove two things and that's the muffler and the gas tank. That will give us better access to what we need to do to remove the stator. So, without further ado, I already drained the gas. Let's get right into it. 13 millimeters for this DeWalt. Yours may vary, but it's gonna be a bigger bolt, I tell you. There's gonna be a few of these air hoses we gotta get rid of. So, I got the bolts right there. And we'll see what we need to disconnect. This is an electrical connection. My damn auto lights are turning off. So this one's disconnected. It was an electrical connection. This I know for a fact is an air hose. I always wonder, I think it's better to take it off from the top and then just feed it through here. And bam, there we go. Now the gas tank can come off. Oh, nope, I'm gonna get this kind of gas line. Cause it's missing a bolt. But that's okay. We'll fix that later. Oh, there's a little metal thing wrapped around this electrical line. Not a big deal. And the gas tank is removed. So now you guys see we have a lot better access to our stator. Pretty much before you do any kind of work on here, you want to remove the gas tank. That way if we're doing the head, we can remove the head. So on and so forth. 10 millimeter for the first two bolts. I'm thinking I can get in here with my wrench to get these 13 millimeters off. Now, when it comes to muffler bolts attached to the head, 99% of the time they're going to be 13 millimeter. So let me get a little wrench and we'll take the muffler off next. 10 mil. I believe that's all she wrote there, 13 on the little wrench. Yeah, see, imagine with the gas tank on, this would have been damn near impossible for that one. This one would have been easy. Got this little wrench I bought from fucking AutoZone. Sucks my ass. If you guys know where I can find a stubby wrench that's good, let me know in the comments down below. I'm looking for a stubby that's not a piece of garbage like this thing from AutoZone. And that's all there is to it for the muffler. We don't have to mess with the head. I don't think so. I know the problem already. You guys will see in a minute once we remove the stator and the road. Okay, I don't, don't ask me why generator companies do this, but these two bolts here to get the plate to access the brushes and the regulator are seven millimeter. It's always good to have a seven millimeter because it works for the plastic carbs too. From there we can remove the fan plate. Now we have access to the voltage regulator if we needed to and the brushes which you notice are missing because I've already worked on this once but then I found out what the problem was. If you guys watched my shorts you guys would have seen a little video but you guys will see in this one here in a second. Now Every stator has these long rods connecting pretty much this side to this side and standard they're 10 millimeter. So once we remove these, we got to undo these little feet holders. And this is the heaviest part of the generator. So be ready. Make sure you know it's heavy because you're going to get your finger smashed. So I'll go ahead and we'll remove these feet first. Okay, got the 14, and I have the wrench, or the ratchet going the wrong way. Now we should be able to just, whoop, 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 whoop. And I don't know if on this one, if they're welded, or if they're just in there. I think they're just in there. Sometimes you could hit them back down. We'll find out in a second. But if we got to lift it up, it's not going to be that big of a deal. 
And these have no heat next to them, really, so they're pretty easy to get off by hand. Okay, we got the feet off. So now we can remove these long stud bolts. And they're just big old long bolts. Hopefully I'm recording, okay good. And this one has four of them. There's one more you can't see down yonder. Is there five? No, four. <clears throat> okay, I'm gonna see if I can't hammer those out. I think there's a nut on the bottom, which is a 13, not a 14. Okay, I got the big impact, but first things first, let's take off this pigtail here. There's some seven millimeters again. And make sure you take a picture with your phone. So if you forget, which way this pigtail goes on after you fix your problem, you have a picture showing how to do it. Even I take pictures because I don't remember everything. And the people who say they remember everything they do, they're lying. That's very, well, they must have a very big old brain. Wow, that's an eight. I don't have an eight with me. <laughs> I don't have to remove this, but I do have to remove this. Let's undo. We'll just break that zip tie. And we'll grab my eight millimeter while I'm at it. Zip ties broken. We can remove this. Eight millimeter coming in. And there we go. We removed that pigtail out of our way. So now we can get to that bolt. And like I said, I got the big old impact. I'm gonna assume it's not cross-threaded. It probably is. It's either was not or I broke it. I don't think it was though. There we go. See how long that is? That's about 12 inches. Well, when I tipped the generator over on its side, it just, they came out. Let's see if I can just pull this bad boy. Actually, now I get to these last two 10 millimeters right here. And maybe we can remove this thing now. case I think it is now if so I gotta tip this thing back over okay hang on let me tip this thing back over and I'll drain the oil out of this oh look the legs come out now Okay, let me drain the oil. Oh, look. 
here's part of the reason I'm taking it apart. Something's broken in there. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. Let me suck this oil out. For those of you that don't know, I use one of these. I think they're like $80. It's been a game changer. I can't believe I was changing oil how I was for so long without one of these extractors here. You know what? Since I have my air hose, I've never tried the air feature on this thing. I think it sucked it all up. Perfect. Okay. Let's get this stator off now. Like I said, I think that's going to remove the whole crankcase. Mm. Which I hope it doesn't. That'd be annoying. Come on, you stupid. Oh, hang on. My lights went out. Here it comes, baby. There it goes. Rotor and stator is now off. Oh, God damn. Like I said, that's the heaviest fucking part of my feet. Oh, let's check it. Make sure it's not destroyed. Okay. Before we do that, the flywheel that goes on here is gone. It broke. Um, yeah. So I'm wondering if we can replace that flywheel too. I'm gonna have to see, hopefully. Cause, I don't know. Well, yeah. Um, we will see about that. But first, let's go look at this rotor and stator here. Okay, are those eight millimeters? What do you guys think? They look like eights. <sighs> Had some Loctite on them. some of these coils are destroyed and if that's the case then I don't think this thing's gonna produce power anymore mm. I'm afraid to replace the part and then the coils fucked up let me take a deeper look at it huh oh, yeah. if I think this one of these coppers is broken Yeah, it's eating up in here. Let's see if we can get you in there. Let me take you off the tripod. Yeah, it's destroyed. See these? The windings are all messed up. Well, that's how you remove the rotor and stator. I don't think I can fix this. I'm gonna see how much one of these are and I'll get back to you.